Let me start with the first of those articles, the Articles of Independence from Communist China. We have to actually declare independence from the climate change agenda, which is itself a farce. I said this on the debate stage. I took a lot of heat for it. I'm going to say it again. The climate change agenda is a hoax because it has nothing to do with the climate and everything to do with global equity, specifically letting China catch up to the United States of America economically. I'll explain to you how it works by way of example. Take the electric vehicle cult in the United States, and I have no problem with the existence and purchase of electric vehicles, but I do have a problem with a subsidized industry that falsely tilts the scales towards China. Those EVs, we depend on them. We depend on China for rare earth minerals and mineral refining capacity in order to provide those electric vehicles in the United States. So when U.S. taxpayers subsidize EVs, we are actually subsidizing the Chinese Communist Party on whom we rely for the production of those EVs. The same story for the solar panels in this country. Think about the emissions caps that we apply in this country. As of 2019, and the trend continues, China emits more carbon, more greenhouse gas emissions than the United States and the rest of the developed world combined by claiming to be a developing nation under the Paris Climate Accords and other international standards. Yes, that is a farce. The same opponents to carbon emissions projects from companies like Chevron that are dropped say nothing as those same carbon emissions are shifted to places like China. Yes, that is a farce. The same opponents to carbon emissions here at home are also opponents to the greatest form of carbon-free energy production known to mankind in the United States of America. That is nuclear energy, where China is the only country other than the U.S. that has a Gen 4 reactor today while we still suffer with Gen 2 reactors. And so what we're going to have to do in the United States is actually reduce our dependence on China by first unshackling ourselves from the climate agenda here at home with a commitment to once again without restraint drill, frack, burn coal, and embrace nuclear energy in this country and what I will do as U.S. President is on day one, we will rescind any unconstitutional federal regulation from the EPA to the Department of Energy to the SEC that requires even the measurement or the reporting of carbon dioxide emissions. We are done with it to instead focus on GDP growth and actual American flourishing here at home. That is what we will focus on measuring, and that is the first step to declaring independence from an enemy that is purposefully using an agenda to shackle the United States as they continue to catch up by the day. It's not too late to get this right. We're behind, but that's the first step to our economic independence from China.